I think companies today really need to realize the heightened risks that they face, that companies uh, have contributions that they made in the past that are like ticking time bombs that can go ahead and really bite them in the future. Can you give me an example? Well, you had the case in North Carolina with HB2. That was the transgender bathroom law. And companies helped change control of the North Carolina legislature in 2010, elected a governor in 2000. 12 helped do that. In 2015, you had the transgender bathroom law passed, and the companies that had supported the elections in 2010 and 12 really came under very sharp criticism. You also have that on climate change, where companies that have strongly reaffirmed their support for the Paris Climate Accord ended up uh, helping reelect attorneys general that were filing suit against the EPA Clean Power Plan, mm -hmm. and they came under sharp criticism for that you know, not putting their money where their mouth is. So should they not do any political donations whatsoever? Is that the answer, or what would you no, recommend? I think the companies have to approach it very carefully. They have to take a much longer look and deeper look at what the consequences of the spending are. I mean, today with a hyper-polarized environment, with, uh, with the climate that you have with President Trump, they really have to be concerned about how consumers react, how do customers react, you know, with their spending. Companies really are focusing on how they relate to the public, how they're seen with the pub by the public, and I think their political spending is really becomes part of that calculus. So what does that mean? Does that mean the board should require that they know it all? That they is there a, a framework to think about it? Oh, I think that there have to be very strong policies by the board on when a company will spend. What are the factors that go into the decision making on the spending? Companies really have to take a look at how the spending aligns with their values, with their policies and positions. But they really here, have to. Here's the thing: a politician can have a lot of things that you support, and yet there's one or two things that you don't. I mean, does it by by donating does, when a corporation donates to a politician does it mean that they own every position that politician has? Well, they're being associated with that. That's a real risk that companies face today.